Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday and Tuesday tip collaboration with the AutoCAD blog, uh, I've got another post and I'm going to put the link to it below in the description box. Uh, in the video we're going to be taking a look at three easy ways to declutter and clean up your AutoCAD drawings. Uh, a lot of the times you're able to shrink the size as well. Uh, in the process. Uh, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do my best to keep this under the two minutes, uh, although I rarely ever do. We're still going to keep this uh, quick and to the point. So the first of the three commands that we're going to take a look at is the purge command. You can access it by typing purge, P-U-R-G-E, and hitting enter. Uh, purge allows you to purge or remove uh, objects, line types, uh, layers, groups, styles that are not being used, uh, are duplicated, are unneeded, uh, or orphaned within your drawing. Uh, it's a good idea to purge drawings when you're sending them out or done with them uh, just to remove any excess styles, layers, line types, blocks uh, from your company's template or just clutter that's kind of built up in the drawing over your time working on it. Uh, it's an easy way to save some space but also just declutter your layer list and your drawing in general. Uh, so you can see in the purge dialog box here you've got a few options. Uh, it's going to show you in this list here what's not being used in your drawing. This is a small drawing so I don't have a lot, uh, but you can see the plus sign is showing me that there's a block that's unused uh, and then a handful of layers. Sometimes you'll have plus signs next to each of these or maybe very few. Uh, regardless, that's what's able to be uh, purged and not used in your drawing. From there you've got a few options like confirming each item. Uh, purging nested items, that would be items within items, uh, blocks within blocks, uh, and then unnamed objects, what you'd like to do with those. I like to purge any zero length geometry, that could be just uh, bits and pieces of things left over from exploding uh, stuff or just miscellaneous geometry in your drawing. And then I'll automatically purge orphan data and then just hit purge or purge all. I'm gonna use purge all because it's a little quicker and it's automatically going to uh, give me this confirmation. I'm gonna purge all, and you can see it's just removed everything in my drawing. You can hit close. You can see down here what it's purged in your uh, list here. Coupled uh, zero length geometric objects, uh, blocks, and layers. That's it for uh, purge. Again, you can dive deeper into these. Check out the article I've linked below. Uh, it's gonna give you some more descriptions and definitions of each. Uh, command that we get to. All right, so next is the overkill command. Uh, once again, you can just type in overkill and hit enter, and it's going to ask you which objects uh, you want to clean up or overkill. Uh, overkill is uh, it's often often underused uh, and kind of unknown, uh, but it's helpful. It'll help you kind of get rid of that bloat and organ unorganized uh, objects in your drawing. It allows you to quickly remove. Uh, multiple overlapping objects and combine one, combine objects that are partially overlapping or completely overlapping. Uh, really it just helps with all that excess line work that can get, accumulate in a drawing over time. Uh, so when it asks you to select objects, I'm just going to select or type in all to select all. You could also just uh, use a box over a bunch of your uh, line work. You can see it's selected all my objects. I'm going to hit enter. Uh, and then it's going to let me choose my criteria uh, of how to delete objects. You can ignore specific colors, layers, line types. You can also give it a tolerance. Making this number larger uh, will get rid of more stuff, but make your drawing likely more clean. Um, I'm just going to leave everything as default. Under options, you can also optimize segments within polylines, cleaning them up, removing uh, excess segments. Uh, you can get it to ignore uh, widths. You can combine, which I've got all of these checked, collinear or overlapping objects, and then uh, maintain any associative objects like dimensions. Uh, we're gonna hit okay. 
And you can see that a bunch were found and it deleted 83 duplicates. Uh, I did that purposely by copying a chunk of this drawing on top of it itself to test that it would grab it, and it did. Uh, so now you shouldn't have any duplicates within your drawing, taking up extra space and unneeded uh, lines in your drawing. All right, so last up and keeping this short is the audit command, A-U-D-I-T. And I'm just gonna type that in here. Uh, audit lets, lets you clean up and uh, fix any errors in your drawing automatically. Uh, I'm going to show you actually another uh, cool tip with the audit command and that's that you can change audit so you can type in A-U-D-I-T-C-T-L and that's audit control A-U-D-I-T-C-T-L audit control and that if you set that to one it will automatically create a text file uh, outlining all of the errors and what the audit command has done. And it's just gonna create that text file with an ADT extension and save it in the folder where your drawing is located. Uh, you can see more about that in my article that goes along with this video. Again, it's in the link below. Make sure you guys check it out. But I'm just gonna set it to one to turn that on. And then I'm gonna audit my drawing and say yes to fix any errors that it encounters along the way. You can see I've hit one. Uh, it's fixed a few variables back to my defaults. Uh, it's cleaned up a few errors. And uh, overall, my drawing is cleaner and smaller because of these three quick commands uh, that are built right into AutoCAD and should be in everyone's AutoCAD toolbox and daily workflow. Uh, these are some of my favorites. I know there are a bunch more. Make sure you guys leave in the comments the ones that you like the best or ones that you use to help keep your drawings clean and error free. Uh, again, if you guys are looking for more tips, uh, I've just released a video webinar course uh, containing an hour of my favorite productivity tips, tricks, techniques, and hacks within AutoCAD. Stuff that I've learned over 15 years of uh, drafting in CAD daily. Uh, I think you guys are going to really like it. I'll put the link in the description below. Make sure you guys check it out right now. Uh, it just came out this week and I think you're all going to like it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Until next time, cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.